Greenland is one of the most pristine and remote places in the world. It's also one of the few places where you can witness climate change happening right before your eyes. In polar regions like Greenland, temperatures are rising at about twice the global average. Rising temperatures in Greenland is a big problem for the rest of the world. Here is why. 80% of Greenland is covered by an ice sheet that spans 656,000 square miles and is over 2 miles thick at some points. And this ice sheet is melting. Greenland's ice melt is responsible for 40% of the total global sea level rise in the last century. If all of Greenland's ice were to melt, sea levels would rise over 7 meters, or 23 feet. The rapid rate of melting is partly due to what scientists call a reinforcing feedback loop that amplifies the impact of rising temperatures. White ice is a natural mirror that reflects the radiation of the sun outward. When that white ice melts, it becomes something darker, either water, vegetation, bare ground, or dirty snow. This surface then absorbs more of the sun's heat. Like wearing a black t-shirt on a sunny summer day, it heats up more quickly. The speed at which Greenland's ice sheet melts will depend upon how much carbon dioxide we put into the atmosphere. With the United States being the second biggest carbon emitter after China, much of that responsibility falls on America's shoulders. If emissions go unchecked, conservative estimates put global sea level rise at one to three feet by the end of the century. Global leaders will come together this December in Paris for a climate change summit called COP21. Many climate scientists consider this our last real chance to create a binding agreement that will prevent catastrophic global climate change.